In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the super clean vintage collage effect. But before we get into the video, I want to let you know that my new After Effects plugin, Shake Sauce 2, just came out. It's by far the best shake in all of After Effects, and I'm going to have it linked down in the description right next to a seven day free trial. That way you can try it out 100% risk free. I guarantee you're going to love it. But that's enough talking. Drop a like in the video and let's get into After Effects. So in the what I did today music video, you can see they have like these vintage kind of like almost 3D looking collage effects. And it's basically just a bunch of clips together. So inside of After Effects, I have a few clips that I want to collage together. These three right here pulled up. So to get started, the clips that you want to overlay, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pre-compose them and then go inside of that comp layer and change the composition setting from 1920 by 1080 to 1440 by 1080. Just make sure you uncheck the lock aspect ratio. Otherwise, it's not going to allow you to actually do 1440 by 1080. So if this is checked, just uncheck that. Now, this is an optional step, but I do think it helps sell the vintage kind of look. I'm going to drag on a film frame. This is from Tiny Tapes Film Matte Pad. I'll have it linked down in the description. But what basically what it's going to do is just allow you to have these kind of vintage frames around your video. So I'm just going to scale it to fit properly. You can go ahead and unlink them. That way it fits properly. And then now we have this four by three video with this border around it. Now, if we go back into the main comp, you can kind of see what that looks like. It looks like I might need to make the border on the outside a little bit different, like move it in a little bit like 70.5. And that looks a little bit better. Now there's like this border on the outside and I'm going to go ahead and now do that for these other two. So go ahead and pre-compose, go inside of it. And then we can actually just go inside of this other comp and copy this border. That way we don't have to do it multiple times. And then we're also just going to need to go to the composition settings and go to 1440. And then we can paste that border and it'll be there. And then we'll do that for one final one. I'm going to go ahead and compose it, change the composition settings, and then go to 1440 and paste that in. If you guys want to know how I pre-composed everything so quickly, I was just using Workflow. It's my plugin that allows you to pre-compose stuff really quickly, just one click. It saves a lot of time if you compose stuff a lot. So if you do that, I'll look into it. If not, disregard that. Now, the next step is to open the transform options and then go ahead and scale and move your images around where you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all three. Just change the position, the scale. You can also do I didn't do it in this example, but you can make these different aspect ratios too. You don't have to have them 1440 by 1080. You can make them whatever you want. I just think the four by three does look pretty good. So let's go ahead, drag the ones we want where we want them. Maybe this one a little small here. I think this one's the coolest. So let's drag it up to the top and then maybe have this one above that one. Now to get that 3D kind of look, you can just go ahead and make these all 3D layers and then right click down here and make a new camera object and then click OK. And now we need to add depth between all these layers. So the easiest way I think to do it is go to where it says one view and turn it to two views. Let's go ahead and make our background also a 3D object. So everything's a 3D object. And then this is basically the backboard. So this this line right here will be the background. So if we push this video past that, you can see since it's in 3D space, it will disappear. So I'm gonna pull forward all of these videos. You can see how it compares to the other video. And you just wanna like kind of like sort them in a way where they're all on different like Z axes. That way there's just a little bit more depth to each of them. And we can add an effect like drop shadow on here as well. We'll go back to the one view so you can see a little bit better and bring up the opacity and just make it a little soft like that. And it'll just add a slight drop shadow, kind of selling that 3D look as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste that to all of them as well. And then we can go to the camera transform options and keyframe them all. And if you press C on your keyboard, you can cycle through all of these 3D camera options. So I'm going to start it off pretty zoomed in and maybe rotate it just a little bit, kind of find what works for you. You can even move it around and then go to the end and we can just go ahead and reset this all and maybe just tweak it just a little bit so it doesn't go back to like perfectly default. That way it's not like super like robotic looking. And then go ahead and highlight all the keyframes and easy ease them. And you can see, in my opinion, that's a lot of movement, a little bit too much. So we can go ahead and just fix that by just moving it a little bit closer to what it started like. I actually just don't even like the way the keyframes look right now. So I'm going to go ahead and redo. This is part of the just tweaking process. We'll make it a lot less intense of a, of, of a move. That way it's not super noticeable. Something like that should look a lot better. 
now it's a lot less noticeable of a movement we can also add motion blur on all these that way it just has a little bit of blur and the movement and the thing that's going to sell it the most is having some kind of shake so i'm going to use the shaky hands preset from shake sauce 2. you just go ahead and hover over the preset that you want select it and then go ahead and click apply it's going to do a few things in the background and then you will have shake. And just like that, you have a little bit more texture to your music video. It's a great way to separate just performance scenes. In this music video, they do it a handful of times and it's just a great way to, and it's just a great way to use footage that might not have been usable. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like in the video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to do that. I'll have Shake Sauce 2 linked down in the description. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.